Key evidence into the investigation into the deaths of Idaho children Tylee Ryan and Joshua J.J. Vallow is being processed at a lab in Salt Lake City. But this is not blood or fingerprints. It's digital data taken from phones and computers. FBI agents seized dozens of items from the home of Chad Daybell, the man who married the children's mother, Lori Vallow, and on whose property their bodies were found. Some of those items were analyzed here at the Intermountain West Regional Computer Forensics Laboratory. A lot of the cases that you see in the news or read about end up here. FBI Supervisory Special Agent Cheney Engtao is the lab's director, overseeing a team of certified examiners who painstakingly scour hard drives and cell phones for evidence. Everybody owns a computer, everybody owns a phone, and no matter what kind of crime that occurs, you know, there's going to be digital media involved. Digital evidence is, is crucial these days, and that's why, you know, the, our lab and the other RCFLs across the country are important because we provide these services to the especially state local agencies that just don't have the resources to, to do this work. With special training and software, examiners can uncover data that's been deleted or encrypted. In other words, what criminals do their best to conceal. Almost half of the cases that we work here are child pornography, sexual exploitation, sexual assault cases, you know, which obviously nobody wants to see that going on in, in our society. So. You know, when you work so many cases like that, it, it, it is satisfying to help, you know, put these people in jail, you know, who are, you know, molesting kids or, or trading child pornography or things like that. An examiner from this lab recently testified at Chad Daybell's preliminary hearing. If cases go to court, you know, as the, the Daybell Vallow did, our examiner will go there and testify. And, you know, they're oftentimes uh, deemed uh, experts for, for, for their, what they're doing. Yeah, important work there. The lab worked on 455 different cases in 2019, and they currently have 150 active cases. As for Chad Daybell, he is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow. His wife, Lori, is awaiting trial on charges of conspiracy to conceal, alter, or destroy evidence.